I'm Ryan Horn, Turner, Steve Animal Design is Sean, and we want to be your Poe Town heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Poe Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Ryan Horn, Turner, Steven. Bogey signed is Sean. And today we got a fun deck for you guys that's sure to annoy uh, that's sure to annoy all your uh, all the players out there and and you really can't ask for anything better, especially out of budget. So without further ado, we'll just jump right into a match and show you what we're working with. All right, so Psychic Normal. Uh, is it Dawn Wings? It might be Dawn Wings. All right, so Tails. This deck, we definitely want to go second. And then uh, this deck was actually get told to us by uh, by Simeon, one of our uh, one of our favorite guys in our league. Yes. So Simeon, thank you very much for this list. It it just leads to shenanigans and hilarity. All right, so let's let's see what we get. We so, are going first. We are going first, but we got no basics, so we're gonna have to take them all again. Doesn't have a whole lot of basics. No, it doesn't. Even though the only deck is a uh, pretty much basic, so yeah, it is all basic. Yeah, the entire deck is basics. It's let's see, I think it's like nine basics. Is all this deck has? So nine Pokemon. So yeah, there. You're... And Maybe. only one energy. If we take a few mulligans down again. Yep. And again, only one energy. Hey, you drew the one energy. Very nice. So we'll start with Celestela. All right, so this is definitely going to be fun. Let's see what we're going up against. Yep. Yep. All right, so... That's Team Rocket Tandy work. And Double Tails already. Really? You really gonna do that to us? Yes. Alright. So let's see what they can come up with. Because next turn will probably end... Because they're not going to be able to do big damage right off the bat. So let's see. What do we got? Ultra Ball. Probably the Grub. Olele. Oh, Lunala. So Virgin Lunala Dawn Wings? What does it do? 40 damage. Actually, it might just be be Lunala. With a Dawn Wing or two, just because I'll carry the free retreat amongst the deck. Yeah, I, it's quite possible. But it's going to take a while to stack up some damage. Because we don't attack with this deck. Or if we do, we only do one attack. And Raven? Is your Inkai to the bin? Pass energy? Still haven't played still haven't really played a sport yet, so He is not. Kukui, okay. Is there any energy? There's still no energy in there. Stuffle, so definitely running a budget. Oh, the starter deck comes with. So he's just probably using the remnants of the starter deck as he builds it towards. Towards. What he needs. Okay. I, I don't know. I think Lunala Dawn, uh, Dawn Wings wouldn't be too bad with it, all the psychic tech we're getting, we got. Oh, no. Not, not in the slightest. Um, I, that'd be N. Yeah, we're going to end. Unfortunately. Gives them more cards, but... We need more bench. We need more bench. And we got two annoying Pokemon that you can just use them up whenever you want. And a really good play. If we ever get ahead. If we ever get ahead. 
Um, and let's grab another hoop. Uh, mm -hmm. Another good one. So, to be fair, this ends do we, the should, should we have like, like a counter seeing how many times we get tails? If we even get, or make a counter of how many heads we get. It'd be a counter of how many heads we get because that's the le the smaller number. <laughs> uh -huh. The For some strange reason, the RNG does, does not like us. I wonder, uh... So now at this point... He still needs to get it up. He'll probably throw an energy on it next turn and go invasion, retreat, and then start punching. Probably. And with invasion, we'll want to keep the invasion, keep energy off the invasion, and then keep in the active. Yep. Or Guzma. Or that's a one shot. That's a one shot. Then probably another NK. Yeah, the B of all the B wares, I think that is still the best one. It really is. If it weren't for Zork, I think I think it's <clears throat> it's actually not bad of a ability either. So for all the abilities we have, yeah. The only downside is it only works when you play it. The thing is, if it were draw three cards every turn, why would you play Zork if you could just draw three? Exactly. So let's see, let's see. Don't want to do the Gumi. Hmm. So well, the Celestila, it can actually survive a hit. Hmm. There we go. No free retreat? No free retreat. And he can only have three bench Pokemon. So what he has is what he so has. So Guzma up Invasion? Because invasion are usually weaker in the active. What he's gonna do? Guzma up Gumi and attach energy to the wrong Pokemon. We'll see. Because now he needs. Best part about this thing is it needs uh, one additional uh, attack or cost to cover. You know what's nice about B funny about Beware is that most people tend to forget about a specific detail and they tend to attack attach energy to the wrong Pokemon and they find out they needed the one energy. Yep. Usually trips people up one turn. That's actually a pretty nifty idea. The experience here? Yeah. yeah. Putting all the extra psychic energy on it. Except we don't knock out Pokemon in this deck. We don't e I don't even think we do any damage in this deck. No. Gladian. Let's grab an end for, for the next added, for the next turn. How much you want to bet they'll throw another energy on it? They'll probably retreat and forget that they can't attack it. We'll see. Yeah, there's no Malamar, so he can't accelerate the energy onto a V-Wire before it comes out. And this set will have to be mindful of uh, deck sizes, because late game, this this one tends to run out of energy, or cards in deck. Yep. Oh. But we recycle a lot of stuff. But guess what else he forgot? Where did he attach the energy for the turn? He attached it on the Necrozma. So he's not going to be able to attack. Nope. <laughs> oh, this is where energy switch might actually help too. Smiley face. Did you just realize? That's the only downside about this Gumi. 40 hit points. But I think if I had higher hit points, it might be... Uh, <laughs> he knows. He might be... Uh, Gumi might be a little bit more of a problem. Let's end. Let's see what kind of disruption we More get. More Gumis. Ooh. Does this deck have counter catchers yet? Uh, I don't believe this one does. It should. It should. He'll probably get the next knockout this turn. Now he knows. Yep. But the thing is, is we can do Celesteela. And Max out. Potion. Play another end. 
Yeah, no. yeah we got we got an in. That is something we kind of almost forgot about. What? For Apostle Magnazone, no, 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 Metagross deck. Damn, oh. yeah, that might work. Heavy Metal 2.0. I like it. Heavy Metal 2.0. Only. Yeah, we've been workshopping a lot, and it's amazing where all the little signs and ideas come from. All right, so let's focus back. Okay, he got the knockout on the Gumi. That's oh, okay. No. It'd be a shame if somebody worked. We'll pull up a cell or let's see what. Uh, I did. Little skull grunt. Goodbye, Bye. DCE. Just end the turn. You guys, he's going to attack it, do 120. We'll heal that 120 and then disrupt him. Yes. Or throw down Parallel City back to the field. Yep. Either Parallel City. Ooh, although we could grab it. With I mean, Lucianine. and he'll, he'll have to lose a bench Pokemon. Probably a Rangaroo because now Malamar's out. One hundred and twenty. That that certainly hurt. How about we max potion and let's end. This is a nice setup. Uh, crushing hammer. See if we can knock out the DC. Nope. Nope. Is that zero and four now? That's yeah. That's zero and four. We could really get them down to nothing. Yep. Good thing dual brains doesn't exist in standard. That would be destructive. Yes, it would. It would be very Delinquent, destructive. Delinquent, team player count. Is it still legal in expanded? It's, yeah. You know how many decks you, you can act around dual brains now? You got Metagross coming out, and you got Zorark already using it. It does Double it's, Steven's decision. Yes. Six cards. Just search for any six cards. Uh, let's get rid of this d uh, double colorless energy. And we will bring... Let's bring back a Hoopa. Just end the turn. To be fair, he'll he just have to retreat and knock it out, but it's okay. Then we'll just throw we'll a Hoopa. wallet with we'll wallet with Hoopa or for Fiwire to come back out. Mm -hmm. Or I'll just throw on energy and get the knockout. Then at that case, I'll just throw up a Gumi. Always have that one energy denial. Yep. Or if we can draw the lightning energy. Kill him an extra prize, but of course. Now you see what it's for. Let's get rid of his stadium. Let's see the next three cards are. Or do you want to save, save them in case we get both in hand? I want to save them just in case. Because then we can bring back an end. We can bring back. Well. more. We can bring back the end because all of them are played now. Well, we got 15 turns. 14, 15 turns. Left, minus uh, any hand refreshers, and assuming handiwork worked for us. Oh, it will. Well, right now it's zero and four. <laughs> yeah, don't remind the game. So let's see, what are you going to do? Let's go. You know what? Let's go circuitry. Let's at least make them earn it. Oh, yes. Um, is Sandy work? We got two. We need to do a stall eleven turns. And actually, you know times. what? I'll use it. Enhance no. Metal her electric. Hammer, 
puzzle. Yes. Yep. That's what I'm thinking. Except, no, we might not be need be able to do that. But the GX attack only works if he's losing. Well, no, it's the fact that in order for this, in order for there to be a prize there, we would need to use the Lightning GX, which means it would have to stay active. We can't retreat out yeah. because everything else has two, and we need to drop the energy onto him. We can't really slow him down with the Psychic. Because he got all the support after the fact. What? Oh, okay. Um, can we figure it? Double check the attack on the uh, the Jigs attack of Dawn Wings when we get access to it. You might know. Let's get rid of Cynthia. Like Cynthia or Guzma. And Guzma can no, be used for the any psychic energy. That way, if we if we do end up leading, getting a Guma lead, Gumi lead, he has to work harder on. Because let's see, how many is already in here? There's only two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did he literally? Did he forget to attack last turn? He did. So scoop, throw up Gumi, because now he'll need an extra energy. Next, you know he won't. He's an invasion for the knot. Well, he's still need energy to knock it he'll out. He'll still need an energy. Trigger tree, and then done. But either way, well played. <coughs> you have a good deck. And there's the energy. There's the game. He, oh he, no, that's not the game. Because we gave, we made it one more prize. We made it one more prize. Zerg uh, Tree would have made it. Uh... Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, unfortunately. We, we need we need we need nine turns. Yeah. There's but the thing is there aren't a whole lot of melee cards that left in the format, and all the good ones are leaving. That is true. So Mill would be a rarity to see. All right. So although the RNG was bad, this this still is quite a hilarious deck. So we'll just show you, show you the deck that's just dumb enough to work. Yes. And this is it. We run very item heavy. So most of it revolves around Gumi. Sticky membrane. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon's attacks cost one more. So now, like you just saw, instead of three energy, he needed four, which can burn through a lot of resources. And if you can actually get heads on Crouching Hammer, you can actually control much of the game. Yeah, you can control the special energy, the regular energy. We we just dead drew for a lot of the game for some reason, but. And it only has 40 HP, but with it having to do one more, and if you can actually control the energy, you're you're sitting good. I'm, you really can't go wrong there. Uh, we also run three Hoopa, uh, the dark one from Gar no, uh, Shining Legends, yeah. because of fact, you prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done by GX and EX Pokemon. So... Any 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 of the big threats, they're not going to be able to hit you or touch you. Which, so you've got that to control the GXs. You've got this to take care of, um, to take care of the attacks of everything. We run a circuitry mostly for the Lightning GX to give them one additional prize, so that they have to work even longer to, after burning so many resources. We run one Celesteela because of the fact it's a 200 steel with fighting resistance. And, ha and has Buzzwell. one of the uh, rare weaknesses to have in the format right now. Yeah, to electric, which not a lot of the decks right, are... Right, and Vikavolt. Those first. are the only two. And even with Vikavolt, it mostly attacks... Or it's attacks mostly... It's a Bulu who attacks. So this is just a good 200, uh, 200 HP wall. 
So unless they just attack with Coco, they're not going to go very far. So yeah, nine Pokemon. That's all, it, the, that's all the deck has, and you, that's all it needs. You might mulligan a few times. Okay. Because the deck is mostly item-based. We run three Crushing Hammer. Four flip, Crushing Hammer. Four Crushing Hammer. Uh, flip a coin of heads, destroy an energy. Uh, unfortunately, we never get heads on this show. So if, if you're a lucky one, this is a deck for you. Yes, indeed. Controlling the early game controls the game. We run three Enhanced Hammer. You discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Goodbye DCE, goodbye Boost, goodbye Beast, goodbye all of them. Uh, feel, uh, we run two Field Blower to deal with any stadiums and tools, especially stuff like uh, Garbodor. Uh, if, a gar if a tool gets attached to Garbodor, this deck kind of just sinks. Because Hoopa's no longer walling GXs, you got Gumi I mean, you no got, longer... You got to worry about Muck, but Muck right now is uh, outclassed by Garb, but Pose Rotate, I can see a same more play. Exactly. To so, control the Lele drops. So this will definitely control uh, all the abilities to make sure that uh, you don't get shit on yourself. Oh, and another reason we run the circuitry, because of its ability, Flashing Head. You prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have any special energy attached to them. So if they have a DCE, they have a uh, beast, energy. beast energy, boost energy, it's, you, it's taking no damage. It's taking nothing. We run four max potion because you heal all damage from one of your and Pokemon. We're running virtually no energy, so we are only w running one. So yeah. you just heal the Pokemon for free. Yes, you you can't go wrong there, especially if you do it to a Celesteela. They get it up to one ninety, heal all of it. Yes, good game. Uh, nice turn, nice try. We run one Nest Ball, so you can search your deck for a basic because the entire deck's basic. Uh, one pop pad, so we can take two supporters and shuffle them back into the deck. Uh, something that'll last us a couple more turns. Uh, we run four puzzle at a time. Uh, you play, you can play two puzzles at once. If you played one, you look at the top three cards of your deck and put them back in any order. Or if you play two of them, you put two cards from your discard pile into your hand. So that definitely adds, uh, that gets you back a crushing hammer. That gets you back an enhanced hammer. A Max Potion, uh, Hoopa, Gumi, huh? Hoopa, Gumi, N, uh, just about anything that's needed from the discard. Uh, we run two Rescue Stretchers so we can get back Hoopa, uh, Circuitry, uh, Celesteela, that kind of thing. Uh, we run two Parallel City. Uh, you, just controlling setup. Controlling setup. Uh, you mostly want to focus blue on your opponent because uh, that player can't have more than three bench Pokemon. So the less bench Pokemon there is, the less likely they're going to have a draw engine. and or it just something to s stop you. Yep, so it just controls the field a little bit more. They won't really get the, like, say they're missing spot for Mug. They won't really get it out until after they can get rid of Parallel City. Yep. Uh, we run two Acerola, so we can put uh, Pokemon with damage counters back in the hand, add a little bit more, uh, little bit more heals. We run one delinquent, so we can do uh, discard a stadium and play, and the opponent discards three cards. Gives us a little bit more control and more mill. We run one Gladian, so that we can grab whatever we need from the prizes. We run two Guzma, so we can stall out and put a target that they're not going to drop energy on, or they can't put energy on and just wall out the game. We run three Lusamine, that way we can put uh, supporters and two stadiums of supporters from the discard back into the hand. But since you're uh, running mostly supporters, you're probably supporters going back to the hand. Exactly, so, flare grab, grunt. so grab a Flare Grunt and a Handiwork, a Parallel City, and a Delinquent, uh, that kind of thing. That way you always have whatever supporter you need. The earlier you can get, get the Delinquent out and get him down to top deck mode, the better. Exactly. Uh, we run three N. That way, uh, for hand disruption, but also for hand refresh for us. Because we are playing a lot of cards at once. Uh, two Plume Arena, so we can uh, deal, with the, uh, the ener deal with their energy cards. We run four Team Flare Grunts, so we can deal with energy attached. We run four Team Rocket's Handiwork. Flip two coins for each heads. You discard two cards from the top of the deck. If you get heads, it works. Yes, and if you're not playing it on this channel, it works. But so hopefully, hopefully the next two matches it works out really well, and I uh, we're we're sitting good and we get heads. I doubt it, but I have a feeling we'll do well. 
uh, we run one Team Skull Grunt so that we can get rid of energy from their hand just to slow them down even more. We run two Volkner so that you can search your deck for an item and electric, uh, electric and energy. one electric energy when you need it. Yep, so grab a uh, grab a Nest Ball, grab Any a Hammer. Energy, bring the circuitry out, give them seven, prize, seven prizes to work for. Exactly. Uh, we have two Fighting Fury Belt. This is more or less to beef up the Goomies because they only have 40 HP. They now have 80 HP. Uh, Circuitry now has more. Uh, Celesteela now has more. Just gives you that little bit of an extra buffer to, uh, for damage threshold. Basic Pokemon, 240 hit points. That's a... Exactly. And then the only one, one... you can basically say no to you is uh, Hailord at that point. Yep. And then one Electric Energy, which that's all the deck needs. So... It looks complicated, but once it starts playing, and if it actually plays right, this this thing is annoying. Just really, really annoying. So uh, we will we'll pause here for a second, and then we'll be right back uh, going into the next match. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're back. So let's just jump into another match. Let's see if this deck is just dumb enough to work. If it doesn't, oh well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Psychic, electric, normal. Let's see. Tails. Tails never fails. Yes. Tails never fails. So they can go. Uh, would you like to go is this first? A, is this actually one of the few decks that could just go first just to get the early setup? It could go first for the early setup, but I like the second turn. That way they have a chance. To... Oh, nice. And they got the mulligan. Wow. And we got two handiwork. Do you think we can get four heads? Don't. Let's, let's not push our luck. No, I want to push the luck. Uh, I well, want all four heads. Well, I know we want to. Raiko, or Raichu. Raichu? Let's see. Animal. Raichu. Oh, I think I know what they're trying to do. <laughs> We're going up against Stall. We're going up against a Rangaroo Stall. The Psychic's probably a Mew. Well, to be fair, this deck doesn't care. This deck does not care. I hope they run more than just the one energy for uh, Rangaroo. I hope so, too. Because Rangor won't be Actually, able to attack. Actually, I hope not. Because Rangor won't be able to attack. And we don't care if we're paralyzed. Going up against a Rangor stall. And if that's the case, it's going to be hilarious. Uh, yes, we want to draw a card. Yes, we want to draw a card. Double maybe, Pikachu. Maybe a derp version. Maybe. No, unless... Uh, oh, they don't, just don't have nuzzles. Or oh, they just like the art better. I mean, on a hedge, your opponent can't attack versus yeah. paralysis. Right. And if, an effect only Ranger can get out of. So I think we should try to play this hand for a while. Keep doing handiworks. Oh, okay. I guess not. Guess not. Hey, if they weren't going to end, we probably would have. So, yeah, we'll take the end turn one. Oh, we'll definitely take the end <coughs> turn one. And we don't really need to drop Hoopa until we actually see any GXs. There's a high chance. But unless we see any, there's no point to actually just drop one. Well, why not? I mean... It is a nice... It, it is... This does only have 40 HP. Even though they need two energy. We already have that. We can just grab another Seven. Gumi. True. And we can deny Pika from energy. Invasion of the Goomies. So Celestila will not be a good... And then we can actually uh, deny... Just end the turn. Deny energy, because now he'll need three energy just to attack Goomy once. Yep. For a much better condition than we were last time. Yeah, that is very true. I won't tell me this is just a peak uh, deck entirely. No, there was the Raichu, so there's at least the... Oh, there's the Coco, who can't attack. Unless he has four energy. Which he's not going to be able to get. Yeah, because there's nothing that accelerates electric energy right now. There's a few, but they're... nobody uses it. Emolga. The Tupa? Just in case. 
with sanity work and hopefully get ahead. Yes. Wait, wait, wait what? Yes. Told yes. you to push the luck. Do you, push, to, do, push. You have, do you want to stack the deck? Uh, yeah, let's stack the deck. As long as we keep two for like the mid to late game. Um, hammer and 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 hammer electric. The other, the other two don't really matter because we're probably gonna be using N. Exactly. So. Let's end the turn. So now he needs four energy to attack. Or they do. And this deck, if you ever want just somewhat of a pseudo attacker, just throw a couple counter energies because when you do lose prizes, your opponent will probably lead on prizes. Yeah, that would be another good substitute. Maybe that instead of Parallel City, as awesome as it is. Yeah, I mean, as post-rotation stuff. Yeah. To be fair, this deck won't work as well post-rotation, but well, oh well. Maybe if you did Cynthia's instead of N's, so that we are always guaranteed six. Oh, okay. Now we're going somewhere. Wait, how did we... Oh, evolved really? in the right here. Okay. Oh, Guzma. Okay. Oh, to put a non... Okay. To retreat into... Something that Coco can't attack. Okay. Um... Uh... <laughs> End turn. You know, just a punchline. You know what could also be a little bit of insult to this? Just re raise the retreat cost a lot of stuff. Mm hmm. So now they can't retreat either. And if you ever need to attack with Celestelia, you can always have that first attack to in use. Yeah, that might. Make a slightly offensive Gumi deck. Having Gumi be the lead, have everything else be the follow through. That might work. Because where Gumi does lack is when things can set up on it. Although I have this weird feeling that that's janky, even for us. And what are they going to do? Guzma up Hoopa? No. Okay. I can respect that. Except they're knocking out a Pokemon that we really don't care much about. That we could always just bring back. Hope they have an answer for Hoopa. But still, well played. Do, 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 so, do, do, do. Crushing Hammer. It worked. Wait, wait. Okay, let's not. That was really close. All right, so. You get another Gumi? They scooped. Probably ran out of energy. They had already four energy in the discard. Went yeah. Like turn two, three. That is true. All right, so we got a loss, but that's that's well, more we, we what's going to happen. Well, we got a scoop. We got a scoop, and then we did. Uh, we unfortunately got a loss that last game, but or the first game. But, yeah. All right. Yes, you played th playing this this at your local league challenge could actually cause some headaches yes this will cause some headaches unless you're a deck that just loves the setup you might lose mm -hmm. you <clears throat> will lose a lot just imagine when a zork needs two double colors just to be able to attack yeah that's gonna be hilarious especially when you can enhance hammer dce's off the field wait all right, so probably Gumi first. We'll bench Zerkatry when we need it. Well, let's see what we have. Well, limit setup. I know. Limit setup. Flare. But what are we going up against? Oh, going oh. up against Steel? Yeah. Uh, we're going to do that first. Let's start with Hoopa. Because if they're running any GXs, we need the, the advantage. And we can delink them down to two cards. That would be fun. Now, this would be the perfect time for Wink. This would be a good time for Wink. Because they're going to keep the one draw support they have left. Except, wait. 
Oh, delinquent's going to be rotating. Yeah. A lot of the good mill cards are rotating. They are. We have a couple that, have, that will c continue oh, on, but they're not as effective. A, a one energy. And they really only target energy. Which is in the turn. I mean, now with controlling this point, the energy can, can control the game if you have it on the turn you need it. Oh, yeah, easily. Fan club, okay. And then we're just. To be fair, I've always been the person that always plays the. There's like the way people wanted you to play it, and then there's the the side the side path. I always take the side path. Like, yeah. With, with Lily, I would actually use it for like dust main magnemite skull okay. grunts and stuff. Yeah. I would rarely use it for its classic effect. No, there's you could if, take enough time to look and think about a card. You can find some pretty shenanigan shenanigan things to do with it just like radicate radicate we need it you t drop anything on the field uh don't need something to be walled and they're not gonna be running a whole lot of special energy so unless we draw electric energy i don't think we need circuitry at all they need three three energy just to guard press and that they do if only we can item lock well item lock they Item lock, give me lock, <laughs> just lock everything. I could, uh, that could work. Lockner, or do you want a flare grunt? We can Volkner any time. Actually, you know what? We can Volkner any time. We can. So you know, I'm gonna drop the circuitry. Flare grunt. Let's get rid of that metal, and just end the turn. You're, all we're trying to do is control early game. The more you can make them burn early, the the less you have to deal with later. And it'll either go to a scoop, or if they work it all the way through, it's going to go to deck out. Some games it gets close, and we are the ones who deck out. Yeah. Because we're burning just as many resources. So does mind, the top, mind your deck size, the deck count. And you're playing stall because you don't want to be stalling out yourself. Exactly. All right, so now we got a magneton. We just need to. Oh, wait, there's. You know, there really. Actually, post rotate, there is no ability lock unless it's active, so. Or muck. And muck doesn't shot anything else of steel except Magirna. This might get a bit tricky. Oh. Because he is running Magnezone. But it requires to have one more just to attack with. That is true. Instead of four, he'll have to drop five. Oh, and he just discarded another one? Okay. I mean, if he's running Mount Cornet, we have to control Mount Cornets. Yes. So he, start, he started... I think he started with the Heatran deck. They're not, it's not a Heatran deck, it's the, uh, no, I think it is the Heatran deck. That's the Ultra Prism. All right, so what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Uh, there's no Heatran deck. Okay, so, so let's, Volkner. Volkner. So we're not really going to be running much into special energy. Crushing hammer. Still got to get the lightning energy. Lightning energy. Lightning. Hammer. Yes. What? Okay, don't, I don't like no, no, don't bring it up. If we bring it up, it's going to get scared and it's not going to do it. So let's just, yes. <laughs> yes. It's finally looking up. There's the Mount Cornet. If only we had uh, a doink, uh, two puzzles in hand. I know, which is why I'm going to try to avoid playing puzzles this time around. Although a loosen me would be really nice about now. Grab back Volkner and a delinquent. You know, if they somehow knock out Goom, we could just do the circuitry force a, like a Cynthia into the crisis. Mm hmm. And even then, we got two max potions. We got this. 
This it is funny when you need five energy just to attack when you. Now the question is, how is he going to get a charisma to or yeah? Expose me to the active without energy. Mm. Yeah, and then if anything else, you could probably wall the game with Hoopa. If Hoopa is the only thing left, you'll have to have other. Well, but beware can actually be a nice counter towards it. It could, yeah. I yeah, beware is somewhat of a um, underrated. Yeah, it's been it's been seeing a lot of play lately. It, well, it is more or less a budget uh, Zorark, without being Zorark, drop it and draw three. True. And if you really want to rinse out of the repeat, just super scoop up. Well, play poke down, ace roll back up, play, start putting it back down. And if you're in a deck that do, has a lot of basics and have a lot of evolutions that don't use a whole lot of energy, unless they have to attack. All right, so let's see how many energy he's stacking this time. No. Oh. At least two. I wonder if he will know if he needs one more. We're about to find out if he knows. How much more is he, is he going to attach to Yitran? Yep, he knows. Can he get the three on Heatran? No, he can't. Well, he could next turn. Nope. No, he can't. So it's the only way to get. <clears throat> if Beware could change typings besides fighting, it'd be awesome. Did you get more energy? We're about to find out. Nope. Home of all, okay. So Wait, that was a pretty cool coin. Magnezone number two. And then he's evolving the long way too, which is not something you see too often. No, it's not. But Gumi does have one drawback. Since you're not attacking, your opponent can set up with ease. Mm-hmm. Let's help. Let's help uh, get energy into their deck. The discard. So, oh, what? Come on, give us back. Ah, come on, give us back internet. Give it back. Give it back. No, no. Come on, give it back. Give it back. <laughs> give us back internet. Maybe you the computer's tired of this deck. It, it's looking like it. Alright guys, so uh, technical difficulties. We'll be right back and hopefully get a proper, I guess, third match. Well, to be fair, it that, that even the game shows you that this deck is... Is dumb, yeah. It doesn't even want us to play. That's how bad... You're gonna play this? No. Okay, hold on. What the hell happened there? So I almost want to see, say that as the, the thing. We're still recording, aren't we? You are cutting this out, right? Nope. You know, you know, maybe we should have that third batch is just showing that the, even the computer doesn't want us to play this. All right. Let's just jump right in. One last match. Hopefully, everything works this time. Hey, the person got the win. The person got the win, yeah. Dark. I think we got this. Dark Ray? There's not a whole lot of dark. Either Either dark decks, unless they're just Hoopa. Dark, or dark Ray, Weavile, or... Um, Hoopa. Or Only Hoopa. Hoopa. Or Quads, uh, Doro. Okay, fine. With Quad Zoro, we win. Although Yevatol, there's a couple. Of, there's a couple of decent darks. Well, to be fair, the 
you only have to have a lot of damage drop decks. All right, we both had to mulligan. Cool, and we got a tank. <sighs> we actually got a pretty good turn one. No, they have no basic. No, 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 uh, no. Stay with us. Good. <clears throat> yes, I know this is this is a deck you don't want to play. Too bad. All right. So early game flare grunt handiwork, and when we need it. Nine mulligans. Are they playing Guzzlord? There's no other. They're, they're playing there, Guzzlord. There's no other deck I know of that can mill that that can mulligan that much. It's Guzzlord. Are we gonna be able to stall this thing out? We will be able to stall out Guzzlord. But to remember, it'd be a very short game if otherwise. All right, come on. Bring out Guzzlord. To be fair, we have to prevent, prevent it having that first energy on it. Wait, we can't. We can do it once if they go first. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are going first. They are going first. They're we, running Guzzlord, but not going for not going second. We can start denying them a lot. We have to. If this is Guzzlord, Guzzlord Hoopa, probably. Yes, we're going to draw eight cards. Hello. Guzzlord Hoopa. <laughs> How do we know? You have a good deck. Smile. Um, yeah, we pretty much can. All right, let's do this. He's got Nama Villages and... And Guzzard is one of the biggest Pokemon in the Pokemon game. It's <laughs> come on. No, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Okay. Come back. Come back. Come back. Okay. <laughs> Even the computer doesn't want to... Team Grant. Even the computer doesn't want us playing this. And... But can you blame it? Not in the slightest. I would hate to go up against Trevon right now. Yeah. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 8, 18, 21. Wait. So 1, 2, 3, is, 4, 5, wait, 6, Wait, Battle Report is still in format, 10, right? 12, 13. Remember yeah. against Trevon, that's a one, sh that's 330. All right. So Holy crap. I hope we're not go going to sloppily. Okay. How many did he mill? None. Three. He milled two. He milled three. Uh, field blower, get rid of that. Uh, flare grunt. Flare grunt, get rid of one of them. We will. We're going to deny him glutton. We're going to puzzle. <laughs> For puzzle? Next time we'll, we'll want a flare grunt and uh There we go. Okay, I got an idea. Uh then we will End turn. End turn. We're forcing him to play extra dark. Yeah. God's Lord. Of all the decks for us to play. And think that's the deck that started this this whole crazy journey into budget decks off. It is a good deck if you want to climb the ladder. Again, it only fears Buzzwell. All right, so it's gonna eat sloppily. It's got Actually, one. it only fears fighting on the wheel. That play its game. Um, and I said remove that. Although you know what? And him to only energy in hand. And him to only energy in hand. To be fair, he'll still need but he'll even... still need stuff just to. Uh, <laughs> That's max out hit points. That is what I'm thinking. Because is it really? But I was also hoping to get uh max get potion. a get a hoopa. Yeah, I just wall the deck. Come on, give it back. Come back. Even the computer's confused. Come on, don't do this. Don't give us technical difficulties. Come on, work, work that. Yeah. And of course, the weather has to be uh, has to be pretty cruddy outside. Come on.
it comes to show that even the computer doesn't want us playing this game. It does. <laughs> although, although you know what? Let's pause it here. I think we're gonna try to do. I think we're gonna reset I think we're, all I this. Think, I think we're we're two comical videos. All right. So uh, it appears that uh, not even the computer wants us to finish this match. So after or finish those matches, a game, a successful game. And then just crapped out twice? It, it just crapped out twice. But at least we got to showcase what the deck's supposed to do to an extent. Uh, the Guzzlord, the way it was looking, I don't think we were going to win that one. I think it would have won. Yeah, it, you really can't mess with Mono Guzzlord. I mean, granted, uh, it's only to climb the ladder, and we pretty much had it, or we Once, ended up running it as our I first think video. If we could have, I think if we ever dropped a Hoopa, I think we would have cleared it. Oh, yeah, easily. Because after he knocked out the Cell of Steel, he would have been locked because we would not put bench another Pokemon, so he can't even Guzma around it. Exactly. So if we would have got the Hoopa, we probably would have got the game, but with how it was looking, it was probably going to be a while before that And we would have had to end out another, another... Yeah. But either way, uh, we'll just leave them as is. Uh, but anyways, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, become a Potown here yourself. Uh, hit us up on PTCGO. We are Poe underscore town underscore heroes. And be sure to hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Poe Town Heroes. As always, may all your games go well and may the top deck be in your favor. Till next time.